My name is Manos Akulelis, and in this session, we're going to go through the latest updates of ANZA version 21. The current enhancements in version 21 cover a wide range of areas, as you can see, including many disciplinary oriented applications, as well as a number of generic pre processing practices. Now, let's dig into the details of each area. Starting with the graphics, with a new graphics kernel introduction, following the corresponding tip of Meta, the whole graphics engine and graphics domain has been overhauled. As a result, user performance has been significantly promoted up to five times faster in terms of shift between drawing modes, while memory consumption has been reduced by 60%. Improved and more realistic transparency with better depth perspective has also been ensured as well as improved visualization of polygons and polyhedra. In the field of modular RAM management, we have continuously expanded and improved the infrastructure of the modular RAM environment in several areas in order to improve the user experience and make the environment more appealing, with examples including the addition of new model icons and user toolbars for a first level access of the tools. To improve the day-to-day -day work in the modular environment with smart solutions for model composition and assembly with introduction of the change set management functionality and various other build process updates. To promote collaboration between users from different teams across all disciplines. And to facilitate the efficient and effective configuration of the modular environment. In the field of model build, a new plugin is now available allowing to create the library of the fasteners directly from a general database, including a massive variety and quantity of fasteners type, to create single or multiple library items, and to merge common fasteners upon user request. Regarding meshing, in the field of structural parts meshing, the drag and drop of a structured mesh of a stamp is enabled, allowing quick and easy mapping of the mesh. Users can store a stamp as a library item and reapply its representation and also use the representation name in batch mesh in order to use it directly from the batch mesh. Regarding the four-sided mesh, it is now possible to map opposite sides and thus automatically get the quadratic mesh with the ability to manually modify the number of perimeters. A new plugin is also available used in order to precisely remove 3D ribs. A new tool in version 21.1 for creating the middle surface of extruded profiles has been implemented. It is a fully automatic tool to be used specifically for straight extruded parts and its main advantages include the auto-identification of the profile, the align entities association and a nodal or PID thickness assignment. This tool is much faster than casting and creates a map mesh. Significant developments have been introduced in the assembly field. With a new option feature line to feature line added in the search pattern field, the contact representation can be directly generated and a new scene line FE representation contact entity with edges is created in sets. Regarding the scene line, an enhanced realization in two base suite applications which is applicable also in cases of holes or gaps, has been introduced. Moving to the disciplines that started with cash and safety. New preliminary IGA keywords, which will become available in LS Dyna 13, have been supported, as well as an improved algorithm for generating IGA services. A new plugin with an assistant that allows fast preparation of load case setup for airbag folding in LS Dyna is provided based on customers' needs for single and multiple folding processes while allowing for storage and reusability of any of the folding scenarios. The knee mapping plugin has enhanced performance for matching a point of knee to a point on the instrument panel. 
for the H-Point Mannequin Positioning Plugin, which supports the Cup Whiplash Test Protocol version 4.1, a new interface has been created to follow the protocol more accurately. In addition, a new deck menu for non-linear explicit analysis using the Impetus Solver has been introduced. Furthermore, Pumpers dummy models are now supported in the dummy marginate positioning tool. Moreover, an updated articulation tool for handling dummy models is now available, as well as a marginate tool for positioning human body models with the aid of LSDynA. For the articulation of the dummy limbs, a table view of the dummy tree is now available, allowing simultaneous articulation of all joints and axes. Moving to the Seatful tool, an updated smooth functionality for even better results, as illustrated in the picture, has been implemented. Moreover, the check seatbelt has been enhanced for LSDynA to recognize cases where a component has a free end, a seatbelt entity is in loop, and cases where a retractor or a pretensioner is missing a sensor entity. This ensures a proper LSDynA seatbelt definition. The car marking developments of the pedestrian tool can be applied in the real element thickness in version 21. The windscreen clean exclusion zone is marked for all NCAP protocols. Also, the windscreen test zone is available for the GTR9 UNR137 proposal. And the wraparound distance raster for the GTR9 has been also introduced. Moving to the interior safety improvements, the IP impact tool supports the headphones spherical coordinates calculation. This information is stored in the target point card, along with the spherical coordinates of the target point. Also, all target points that are calculated rearward of the pivot pivot point during the market process are excluded. Regarding the positioning for the FMVSS 201U, a relocation option allows the creation of all valid contactable target points inside a given search distance. The search is performed on spheres with increasing radius until the maximum radius is reached. On the impactor positioning, the updated interface allows also positioning even if the impactor is already loaded within ANZA, while preview of the positioning and undo are now available. Furthermore, offsets now supported for radius and LS Dyna. Three new FV representations for symbols have been implemented. The laser was solid, which in this case has been realized using hexa elements and two heat affected zones. The overlap solid, which in the illustrated example has been realized with hexa elements and two heat affected zones. And the wide joint solid, which has been realized using penta, cohesive, and penta elements. In regards to the kinetics, a new simplified category has been added in the FlexTools interface, allowing size reduction of large model reduced files. The export of the interface node forces of flex bodies as a transient national load case is now enabled. During the setup process of a model, it is always important to check frequently how the mechanisms are functioning. This helps in identifying any model setup errors in the kinematics quite early that could cause subsequently problems while trying to run a simulation later. The drug simulation is a quick way to test the mechanisms by simple drag and drop operation on any part of the mechanism. Thus, there is no need to specify any temporary sources of motion in order to excite the mechanisms and check their behavior. Alongside the existing differential equations, linear state equations or transfer functions that are used for the implementation of any linear time invariant system, the new general state equation has been supported as a feature. General state equations will allow users to implement some more advanced cases of non-linear time variant systems by providing their own code in C or Python language that describes the dynamics of the system. Moving to the durability discipline, edges are introduced for contact definition under the contact assistant tool in Abacus and ANSYS. The contacts can be defined either by picking cell edges for slave and master surfaces of each contact area separately, or automatically by selecting the shells where all possible edges may be detected by proximity. Support of the cast iron material, including the isotropic elastic behavior, 
as well as the tensile and compressive multilinear hardening stress strain curves is provided, as well as support in the ANSYS deck of elbow elements, which are suitable to evaluate the cross-section deformation of curved pipe structures. Enhanced features for full support of elbow elements in abacus have been implemented, including three node pipes appropriate for curved pipes, the respective constraint required to connect curved elbows with different cross-sectional direction, the boundary conditions to restrain normalization, warping and deformation, and finally pressures and hydrostatic pressures with relative keywords. In the durability discipline, the MARC deck, a new deck dedicated for non-linear implicit and explicit analysis, has been introduced. The results mapper is now introduced in the MARC deck and supports the mapping from and to the MARC format. A variety of mapping types of results is supported, as well as user-defined results with the aid of Python scripting. The load case assistant is introduced in the MARC deck. The assistant provides a single environment for the fast and intuitive definition of load case entities through the creation and management of the respective increments. This means that in the MARC deck, increments allow the user to divide the history of the problem into convenient analysis spaces and in general customized problem condition and results. A new symbol F representation called FemSide Cells on Solids has been implemented in this version and supports three different subtypes. The overlap, the Y joint, and the back joint. All of them create mesh dependent weld between shell and solid mesh parts, or between two solid mesh parts according to FEMSAP regulations regarding weld shell and has PID MID thickness calculation. Parameterization of FE rep settings is introduced in this version. It is only available for the width of the weld shape, where the users are able to add expressions containing variables such as thickness, step length, and so on. More thorough support of FE representation settings parameterization will take place in the upcoming versions of ANZA. Continuing with thermal analysis, steady state and transient heat transfer analysis are now introduced in the market and are supported more thoroughly in the PAMCRAF stack. Some of the new enhancements include the support of temperature and heat loading conditions with their respective keywords, the integration of respective elements, materials, properties for heat transfer purposes, the capability of controlling heat transfer analysis via specific parameters, which has been added in the PAMCRAF stack, as well as the support of additional thermal associated entities such as contacts, friction, controls, and so on. In the national deck, the option to modify a region allows the creation of thermal loads on elements, properties, and sets. The use of sets allows the user to properly define thermal loads from virtually any entity, even on other parts. With sets, the use of an application or companion region in more than one thermal load is also possible. For the first time, the user is able to select without having to worry about the house. The option Replace Region allows the creation of thermal loads on application or companion regions of other thermal loads. Automatic creation of the national header for thermal solutions is available in ANZA version 21.1. The load case assistant is a window where everything that is required to set up a national header is listed under a single window. Interactive editing of the national header for thermal solutions 153 steady state and 159 transient is now available. The user is able to define subcases with the corresponding loads and output requests by activating or deactivating them in a fast manner. The thermal national entities are now fully supported through the load case assistant. There is also a flawless compatibility with the answer DM. Regarding NVH, many new features have been added in the Squeak and Rattle plugin version 21. First of all, the automatic curve identification function, which according to user settings, automatically creates curves along the areas with high proximity in order to be used for the realization of the E-line. 
One other important feature is the automatic recognition of the master and the slave areas. And likewise, the curve identification proximity check is used in order to identify the master and the slave properties of the selected E lines. Renumbering is available for the RBA3 elements too. This is done by assigning an offset value from the CBUS elements. Moreover, naming of the E lines is now possible by assigning the desired name on the selected E lines. For version 21.1, in the Squeak and Rattle plugin, the E line is supported for Abacus. And for Nathan, solution 111 is now available. The dedicated stack for Actran regarding internal vibro acoustics, which was introduced in version 21.0, is now more extensively supported in version 21.1. A tool from the NBH console that facilitates the identification of the mode, whether bending or torsional mode, has been introduced. The user is thus able to easily create a load case that potentially excites the requested modes using the tools in the NBH console. In the Composites field, a new function in the Composites pre-plugin provides the capability of creating a laminate from shell thickness. The function replaces the property of shell elements based on nodes of or property thickness with a laminate built by stacks of layers with specific thickness. For example, by having the middle surface extracted by a casting from a solid part, a laminate zone model can be created intuitively. Users can now model shell to solid interfaces with common nodes, beam elements, cohesive elements, and contact pairs. While plywood generation is now available for laminate properties, and flattened layers can also be previewed on screen for each straight layer. Cross-section calculation for laminate models is available in this version. The cross-sectional properties of laminate composite shell models are calculated accurately with the new FE section calculator. Regarding CFT, the feature manager can be used to detect and edit features like special perimeters, sharp perimeters, leading edges, uh, free edges, trailing edges, and so on. The features are used in order to apply specific meshing rules on them. The size field tool allows for few variable size fields within the tool. The step can either have a variable or a constant length. Layers and volume mesh that was generated via batch mesh can be locally remeshed after certain modifications. This allows ANSA to know how to remesh the volume cavity after surface replacement has taken place. When meshing multiple ANSA volumes, either by the mesh V function or in batch mesh, ANSA uses all the cores to mesh the different volumes. The user can detect leaks in a complex model simply by specifying a minimum leak length, at least one seed point, and optional leak points where the domain should not leak to. ANSA will then generate 3D points and 3D curves to indicate the identified leaks. This is done using the leak tool. New and enhanced functionality of injection molding is also introduced in version 21. There is a new custom script function called CreateGate3D available for molding environment. Users can create a 3D code called Gate, which is attached on the parts mesh. When the function is finished, the model is ready for the solver. It works on FE mesh only, on either skin shell mesh or solid mesh according to Moldex 3D rules. Users are prompted to pick one or more locations on the mesh part. Then the rest are undertaken by the function and it will end up with the model ready for export. The parts local mesh will be reconstructed so that mesh quality and transition is ensured. Solid mesh is properly recreated following the skin's reconstructed mesh. Boundary conditions, the necessary points that denote the melt entrance location, are also automatically assigned to the part. New user grid functions called Moldex 3D World Lines and Moldflow World Lines are available when omitting ANSA in the molding environment. 
these functions, map the well line nodes from mold XPD or mold flow according to the relevant result file that is exported by these solvers. The new user script functions enable the creation of nodes according to the solver result file. Also, they allow gathering the nearest elements to the well line nodes to put them in the same set as the created nodes and optionally give another PID to these elements. And finally, this mapping applies for both mold XPD and mold for results. The Swift model validation, which is available for Mold3D but can also be found at any FPA solver like Nastran, Abacus, and so on, can be used to deliver results very quickly while maintaining good accuracy. This is useful for both molding and FAA analysts in order to do a draft estimation of the working model and make any modification in either geometry level or even gauge location. The setup is fairly quick and easy. The results are visual within the tool as tab results. The user has the possibility to create a set with the well-line nodes. In addition, a preview of the new calculated material orientation and optional application to the model is available. The tool can also be handled through API for Python. The standard capabilities include taking into account the thickness variation and exporting the results in order to map them to target models. Regarding the solutions for electromagnetics, an electromagnetics analysis can be performed using LSDynA. This type of analysis is supported both in the pre- and post-processing stages, and the supported analysis types include the eddy currents, the resistive heating, battery modeling, and resistant spot modeling. Of course, all the necessary keywords for the above type of polymers are supported. On the eCAD, a widget like GUI is available, and the currently supported files are the IPC 2581 Revision B. The import stages include importing the XML file, uh, having a stack-up review, drawing of the 2D uh, layer features, creating the PCB profile, importing uh, 3D components, and then 2D topology for conductor and insulator recognition, and 3D topology for drilling and bias uh, creation. Uh, this tool is accessible from the ANZA plugins. Regarding the morphing discipline and the optimization domain, the tubes penetrate function can now identify and fix intersections from solid, solid tubes as well, aside from the already supported shell tubes. As far as optimization is concerned, there are new additions to the results tab in the optimization tool. Users can now create 2D and 3D histogram charts, as well as scatter plots that help with the results, analysis, and review. Thickness parameters are now topologically identified during the optimization task transfer instead of relying on property IDs. Properties on the same position will be matched and thickness parameters will be created even if the IDs have changed between the models. Users can now have any script that runs a process readily available in the optimization tool and define it as a task item. This is particularly useful for commonly used functions, for example, shell mesh reconstruction, and for user groups that want to have standardized process available to all the team members. The new response task item creates and extracts responses connected to answer card items. The user can drag and drop to change the position of each item depending on when each response has to be recovered. A new plugin is added that facilitates the creation of a design area for topology optimization studies. Depending on the area of interest, various options are given in order to extrude or offset solids or match the target surface. Moreover, if ribs exist in that area, they can be automatically detected and removed. There are three new bit types introduced, the X, the L, and the T-shape. Their size is fully parameterized and can be defined according to the user's needs. Standard options like mesh reconstruction after the bit definition are of course included, allowing to locate the bit and also modify its width independently. Starting from version 20 and continuing with version 21, the migration functionality has been expanded even more so apart from the application of DFM parameters and design change features, 
it's now possible to transfer optimization tasks between the models of different disciplines. The plugin is now named Design Migrate Plugin, and it's now possible to migrate every type of entity that has to do with changes applied parametrically to a design. In addition, it is now possible to associate DOE experiments and their results with a specific simulation run and access them in the end. Parallel coordinate plots are now supported, allowing for easy and interactive review and comparison between the experiments. These can be created from the results tab of the optimization tool. In Bend, which is a recently introduced direct morphing function, it's now possible to store the Bend function and save it as a parameter. The state-of-the-art scouting tool is used to convert a non-suitable for production result of an optimization process into a manufacturable part. The innovative brush tool interacts with the model in order to smooth a rough area in real time. Holds and extremely thin members can be enhanced thanks to the functionality of adding extra layers of material using once again the user-friendly brush tool. Additionally, testing different configurations of members is effortlessly possible with a brush functionality that builds structured material between two spots. Choosing between two different algorithms makes the results more precise, while the brush can be also used for freezing areas that need to remain unaffected. All the aforementioned functionalities lead to a smooth and ready to reproduce result that may have been optimized but still remains manufacturable. The answer virtual reality capabilities are amplified to offer extended pre-processing potential for morphing and optimization. Users can apply scout techniques to smooth the idle surface of a model after a topology optimization. The mesh is smoothed with the help of a brush, shaped as a sphere or a disk, which defines the active area. Areas that need to remain unaffected can be freezed. Also, material can be added on areas to increase rigidity with the help of the brush. The material can either be added in line or create a bridge between two areas. User scripts can be loaded as plugins and accessed in virtual reality. Base interfaces can be built with the help of the Google library of Anza, allowing the interaction between the users and the plugin while in virtual reality. The morph boxes can be modified with morphing being enabled optionally. Once the control points are selected, an interactive coordinate system can be used to translate or rotate them. The changes can be applied or discarded. Splitting and joining of morph boxes is also available. Pairs can now be created both in virtual reality and virtual reality collaboration mode. Collaboration is enhanced with more tools, such as Morph, which allows the collaborators to morph predefined boxes or parameters and apply design changes, as well as the identification of entities, properties, and more, the creation of cut planes, and the creation of measurements. The user experience in collaboration is also enhanced with the help of two settings. The nearby avatar's transparency, which makes the avatars in close proximity transparent. And with a model movement notification, this notification pops up, informing the collaborators that one of them moved the model. Users can also collaborate in Anza virtual reality environment with the help of sketches and annotations. All tools can be called through voice commands. To do so, the computer must first be trained to the user's voice. Once the training is completed, the user can use the voice command, call the respective voice command, and get the tool activated. The voice commands have default names and can be read and edited from the answer settings. Annotations can be dictated instead of using the virtual keyboard. The users need to train their computer to recognize the voice and accent. Once this is completed, a microphone button allows you to start dictating a text that can be then attached to a sketch. 
controller buttons can be defined at the controller's touchpad from the ANSA settings, allowing quicker access to frequently used functions. In addition, a virtual reality library is introduced, allowing, among others, to run script functions when a controller button is pressed, thus providing a more interactive experience. Each controller button performs predefined actions inside the virtual reality environment. This includes navigation or control of the visibility of the menu. It is now possible to switch these actions between the buttons according to the user preferences from the ANSA settings. Regarding the virtual reality hardware support, the mixed reality headsets are now supported. The user experience is also enhanced with icons on the controllers, reflects on the tooltips, In addition, interactive notifications. Interactive window messages. And settings that switch the operation between controllers. User positioning in the virtual reality environment can now be predefined from the other settings. This setting can facilitate, for example, the collaboration in virtual reality. The settings are stored in the XML settings or within the ANSA file. Priority is given to the positioning info of the ANSA file when this transformation is both uh, available in the XML and the ANSA file. While in the virtual reality environment, users can access their desktops and perform actions as, they were, as if they were out of the virtual reality environment. Another field with some dedicated tools that have come to life quite recently is the machine learning integration field. The latest updates regarding the machine learning covers include the ANS optimization tool, which is now coupled with APM. The latest Python machine learning algorithms, which are implemented in Convos. A user-friendly interface to train machine learning algorithms and predict. Data-driven design variable-based algorithm, and finally, simulation-driven feature-based algorithm. In the field of user productivity, visualization, inspection, and handling of connectivity information between interconnected components and includes is now possible using the includes connectivity graph. An interactive inspection and visualization of an assembly's connectivity can be handled through the connectivity graph. From version 21 uh, onwards, a new visualization method, the highlighter, uh, has been implemented. This method allows an area to be selected with mouse hovering uh, now available, while mouse hovering is, uh, is uh, selected. In the process automation field, in version 21, a new plugin, the Ritomo Material Mapping Plugin, has been introduced. This is a tool that utilizes Ritomo in order to map on a solidness the elastic material properties, the Young's modulus, based on the underlying intensity of a computed tomography scan. Let's assume that we have uh, designed a part and manufactured it using a casting procedure. Often, there are cavities and various manufacturing flaws hidden inside such items, the severity of which has to be evaluated. A powerful non destructive testing method frequently employed is based on the CT scan of the item. The manufacturing flaw is clearly seen in the scan. With the scan available, there are now two ways to proceed. The first is to generate a detailed mesh from the scan, incorporate the coverage, of course, export it to ANSA, and further process it to the point where a high quality solid mesh is generated. This may lead to a very accurate solution, but of course, it requires a lot of manual effort. The second way is uh, to let's, uh, if we assume that we have the CAD or CA model of the perfect item available, which of course does not contain the cavity. We can use the material mapping to automatically update the modules of elasticity of the finer elements and therefore partially capture the effect of the imperfection. Let's see how the second approach would look in our case. 
Here we see the CA model of the same section shown in the scan. In this case, the material ID view is used and all the elements have the same modules with elasticity. Using the material mapping plugin, Ansa seamlessly interchanges information with Retomo and updates material properties of the solid elements. The cavity has resulted in several elements obtaining a small to negligible modules of elasticity. Also, some elements uh, on the peripheral of the object have slightly reduced modulus because wall thickness was actually a bit smaller than the designed one. Running a static log case on the original and the updated CK model indicates the importance of incorporating the imperfection. In this slide, the cross-section is colored according to the form basis strains and predictably enough exhibits a uniform field in the cavity region. In the updated model though, the effect of the cavity is revealed in the FEM solution. Thus, this provides engineers with a powerful and reliable method in order to evaluate the effect of a single or a combination of manufacturing flaws. Now closing this presentation, and with regards to the technical updates of version 21, the Python version of uh, Beta CA uh, software suite has been upgraded to Python 3.8.1, a major upgrade from the previous version of Python 3.3. This new version will have the following effects. The new Python embedded interpreter brings new uh, programming paradigms, upgraded libraries, F strings, new data structure capabilities, new class types, and many more. Any external third party packages that are used will need to be updated and be compatible with this version, of course. NumPy has been updated to version 1.18.2. The OpenSSL has been updated to 1.11d. H5.5 version uh, 2.10 is now part of the distribution package and can be imported directly. And the same for SciPy, where version uh, 1.50 is now part of the distribution package and can be imported directly. Uh, this concludes our presentation for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, feel free to proceed with any questions.